Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a random review. I am Random Ross, and today I'm reviewing Cruella. Yes, uh, a Disney character reimagined, and this is directed by Greg Gillespie or something. Gillespie or something. Um, Starring Emma Stone, Emma Thompson, Joel Fry, Paul, Walter Husser, Emily Beechen, uh, Kirsty Howard, Baptiste Sussman, and Mark Strong. So this is a crime comedy which follows the origin story of Cruella de Vil, the infamous Disney villainess who is obsessed with fashion and making and her desire to make fur coats so in this one Estella um, you know is orphaned and she meets two little lads named Jasper and Horace and they grow up together pulling off cons and thieves anything to get by until there's this fashion designer named the Baroness, played by Emma Thompson, and you know, Estella wants to outfashion her, become better than her, so she creates the persona that is Cruella. And from the initials on a car saying Devil, she breaks it down to Devil. Yes, Devil. So, Cruella Devil. Um, and along the way, she goes. Yes, so, um, yeah, and we, and she wants, and she basically goes beyond Gaga with the fashion trends and everything she does in this. And also, I always wonder how, as a kid, I've always wondered how did Krilla get her hair white one side, black the other? Turns out that's her natural colour. Yeah. And she, you know, tries to keep her, you know, Estella intact, but of course, she, she eventually becomes Cruella and goes deep down a rabbit hole and you know just then realizes you know in a big plot twist I won't give anything away here but in a big plot twist she discovers that she's destined for evilness and villainy and you know, becomes the infamous Cruella de Vil we all know um, so let's get on to my likes and dislikes first of all I like Emma Stone in this role. I always thought this was a prequel to, was going to be a prequel to the 1996 film with Glenn Close, but I was wrong. This is still an origin story, but a soft reboot of the 101 Dalmatians franchise. Uh, we see, um, you know, yeah, and this is like set in the 70s as well, which made me think even more it's a prequel. Why do I now discard this? Well, Jasper and Horace. Jasper is a mixed race man, and Anita, she's black, and uh, Roger, he's, you know, he's Asian looking. Um, so, yeah, you know, some of the characters we've known from the classic story have, you know, had a change of race, which I don't think anything's wrong with. Uh, you know, I thought, you know, they did a good job in their roles, and I thought, okay, so this is sort of a reboot as well. And also, we you know, see a side of Cruella which I don't think we ever saw in previous movies. She has a soft side, a good side, and you kind of root for her in this. Even though you know she's going to become this evil villainess, you still root for her and hope she pulls it off with what she's doing. Because in this, the Baroness, played by Emma Thompson, she's the main protagonist, not protagonist, antagonist of this film. She is like the villain that made the villain and yeah I I enjoyed her performance so devious and evil and obsessed with power and fashion and success you know and we find in the film you know her involvement with Cruella we actually find a big twist in there which again I'm keeping this spoiler free because I don't want to give anything away uh, so 
Yeah, do I have anything to dislike? Not really, I mean it was fast paced and the film was two hours long, but hey I enjoyed it and it kind of flew by like that and like I say I very much enjoyed this one and I do recommend it. This is out in cinemas now and is available to buy on Disney Plus for £20.99 in the UK. Is it worth paying that much money to go to see Cruella on Disney Plus? No. I'd say go see it in cinemas. I went and saw it in cinemas and I'm glad I did because it isn't worth that much money to on your Disney Plus subscription. You know, so if you can go out and see it in the cinemas, then I recommend you do that because you know that's the best way to see this movie. Not pay extra money on Disney Plus for it. But in a way I'm kinda glad they got this premier access thing up now because you can you don't have to go to the cinemas. Guess if you don't want to go to cinemas but you're happy to spend that much money then yeah but yeah go out and see this one while you can whilst the cinemas are open and we're seeing some normality with how things have been going on over the last 14 months but you know hopefully here we're getting out of it by now but anyhow yes uh, my ratings uh, I'm gonna give Cruella I'm gonna give it a four out of five because I did enjoy this one I did enjoy the story and uh, I do. I will say, stick around during the credits because there is a mid-credit scene. There's no post-credit scene. I stuck around in the cinemas for it. I know I just did, but uh, there is a mid-credit scene which sets things in motion for the story that will follow, which we all know by now is 101 Dalmatians. Anyway, yes, yeah. Be sure to check that out. Anyway, yeah. Uh, that's it for this review. Have you seen Cruella already? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends. And I've been Randall Ross, and until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends, goodbye.